Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to divide polynomials using synthetic division. Um, <laughs> so when we're doing this, basically, um, there's kind of like a basic little algorithm. And what I'm going to do is just kind of do a problem. I'm going to make one up, actually, and just kind of show you step by step what we're going to be doing. So um, let's just kind of do x to the fourth minus 3x um, to the cubed plus 2x plus 5. And I'm going to take this polynomial and I'm going to divide it by x minus 3. Now, it's very important when applying synthetic division that, first of all, we always make sure that we are only dividing by a binomial. We cannot divide by a trinomial, um, a trinomial or even a um, I'm sorry, we can only divide by a linear binomial. We cannot um, divide by. A, uh, like a uh, quadratic binomial or a cubic binomial. It has to be linear because it has to represent a factor. Because since this represents a factor, if we want to divide, oops, I'm sorry, I should write like this, this divided by x minus 3. If I want to represent this as division, I'm taking my factor, I'm representing this as a factor. That means all my factors I can set equal to 0 to identify the actual 0. So therefore, I have x equals 3 would be my 0 if this represents a factor. And remember, a factor is simply just something that, e that divides into a polynomial. Uh, if it evenly divides into a polynomial, then we'll have a quotient with no remainder. If it divides into the polynomial um, not evenly, then we'll have a remainder, which I'm assuming since I made up this problem, we're going to have that. But basically, when applying synthetic division, what you're simply going to do is take your, div um, your 0 from your factor of your divisor, your divisor again is your factor, you're going to find, determine what the 0 is. You're going, to put the, you're going to make a nice long L here, and you're going to take your 3. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the coefficients of each and every one of our terms. Now, I'm going to rewrite this polynomial here. And I'm going to rewrite it with the coefficients of each and every one of my terms. Now you can see I do not have an x squared. So I can always represent that then as positive 0 x squared plus 2x plus 5. Okay, So basically what I want you guys to see is I've taken each one of these, and 0 times x squared is just 0, right? But it's very important because when applying synthetic division, I need to take each of these numbers, and I'm going to list them on my little grid. All right. So now, by applying the algorithm for synthetic division, this is how it goes. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring down the, your first term, which is 1. Then you bring that straight down. Then you take this number and you multiply diagonal. 1 times 3 is 3. You put the product down. Again, multi or add diagonally. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Again, multiply vertically. 0 times 3 is 0. Again, add vertically. 0 plus 0 is 0. Again, multiply diagonally. 0 times 3 is 0. Ooh, that was actually not too bad. 2 plus 0 is 2. And then 2 times 3 is 6. 5 plus 3 is 11. Now, we cannot go any further. So therefore, that is where it's going to end. Now, I did actually want to have a remainder here. Because if this last term was 0, then your remainder would be 0. And that would tell you that your factor evenly divides into your polynomial. But now we need to identify, well, what exactly is this quotient? When I take this polynomial and divide it by this polynomial, you know, what, is, what does my answer look like? So the way that we kind of go backwards is kind of like how you have constant um, qu linear, quadratic, cubic, and quartic. Those are how we label those, uh, those, uh, ter um, those variables. Well, we're going to do the same thing, but we're always going to start with remainder. So I have remainder. Then this is my constant. That's, or remember, these represent the coefficients. That is my coefficient for my x term. This is the coefficient for my squared term. And this is the coefficient for my cubic term. So therefore, um, my term is just going to be 1 times x cubed, which is x 